what's going on YouTube um, I'm gonna show y'all how you can get your saves from your ps2 memory card and convert the saves over to you know like dot PSU or dot max so you can transfer your saves from your old memory old ps2 memory card and you can use it on a PC ps2 emulator all right so first off you can take a look at other videos on how to get the converter um this is the my mc do 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 let's find a cursor but yeah here's the my mc and um let me actually find the files i'm not gonna go too in depth on it i'm trying to make it like a little quick video or whatever but you can see i got the my mc and the ps2 save builder so once you get those downloaded and uh pretty much this is the uh video that um i pretty much you know looked at on how to get the converter and everything but they don't show you how to take your actual ps2 saves because when you go to your ps2 saves when you transfer them do you launch da 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 i just made a folder called ps2 saves and these are all the saves from my actual ps2 memory card and once let's see let me find shaolin monks and as you can see you're gonna have three different uh types of files you're gonna have the system file the icn or it might say ico and then you will have you know the actual file of the uh, name of the game so for instance let me find another game dev jam and as you can see, it says .ico. All right, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open the converter. And as you can see, this is the Shaolin Monks file. So let me actually delete these. So like once you already, you know, convert a save file, you make sure you come through and you delete everything from here. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to file, edit, well, edit, and you're gonna add file. So let me see what game I want to pick. Um, let me do Dragon Ball since I, Tenkaichi 3 since I already, I already tried to do it, but it didn't really work out right. So pretty much this .psu file, all it's gonna do is, all right, you click on one of these files and you hit open. And then you're pretty much gonna do that all over again. You're gonna hit add file. Then you're gonna grab the next file, hit open. It's gonna be a total of three files. And all three of these files are the files that you're gonna to convert to .psu. But what you're gonna to have to do is go to properties. Let me see if it'll let me copy and paste the name. Yep. So make sure you copy and paste the sluice or scoose, you know, that file name. Make sure you copy the whole thing. So I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to copy that. Uh, typically, it's going to say unnamed save when you do this for the first time. But the save folder, you're going to have to change that to the actual file of the game. So hit properties and come to name and I'm gonna uh, do control V to paste it and this is the DBZ 10 e 3 you don't have to mess with any of this but you have to make sure you change the save folder and once you have all three of these files from your memory card uploaded you're gonna hit save and then it's gonna ask you the file name you want to use the same file name so I'm gonna hit control V to paste there you go and you're gonna come over to save well actually before I do that come back out here do 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 and I'm gonna come back until on, into this folder and pretty much let me actually delete this and I'm gonna save it replace it yes all right so now what you're gonna have to do is come to my MC and you're gonna have to open the memory card 
that you're using on the emulator. Open that, and what you're gonna do is have to uh, import your save. So let me see if I have a DBZ save file on here already so I can uh, delete it. Just double check in. All right, I already deleted it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to import. Then you are going to find the converted save file. And you're gonna open it. Now let me find it. There it is. If you don't go to properties and actually change the name, it's gonna say um, unnamed save or something like that right over here. And it's not gonna, um, the emulator is not gonna read that save file because this is in the directory. Uh, there is a folder that you can't actually get into, but uh, you're pretty much going to properties and you when you're changing that name, you're actually creating a folder that this save file is gonna be in. So, all right, now I'm gonna close out of this. Let me go to, let me find Dragon Ball Tink HE3. Turn my control on first. And again, these saves I got from my actual PS2 memory card. Man, yes, I'm on a laptop. If y'all can see it. Low successful. Let me try to skip through all of this. And again, you have to uh, make sure you got, you know, Freemium boot on your uh, PS2 and you got U launch and you're going to copy your uh, save from the memory card to USB or your hard drive, whatever. Plug it into your computer and then you go through these steps. Let me try to skip through this as fast as I can. I started to play this on here, but I wanted to get my saves off the of PS2 memory card. Um, okay, let me see what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to go to Duel. And this save is from way back, like, I don't know, I was in high school, I think. And as you can see, I got pretty much all the characters unlocked. And I remember putting in the Patara code for some of these characters. Um, it's been a minute. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, so usually I like to get Gogeta. So, for instance, let me see. Let me just get Super Saiyan 4. Okay, yeah, usually I go to custom. I actually should've went to team, but um, yeah, let me just go ahead and pick Gogeta. I was going to do a fusion, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab Gogeta. Go ahead and skip through all this. And this is pretty much, you know, just kind of like confirming. This is my PS2 save. And I don't have my laptop plugged in, so it's running out of, off the battery, so it's not really running the, uh, the game that well. And I'm playing with one hand right now. Alright, so what I'm going to do, let me go to another game and try to do that. Alright, and again, you're going to need to get like the actual, you know, file name of the game. Um, another game that I needed to do this with, let me see, uh, Crash to Insanity. So what I'm going to have to do, actually I don't need to open that up. I probably don't even want to do that because I started a new game. I can just start a whole new game in a way. Anyway, um... Where is it? I'm trying to see what game I want to do next. Do, 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 do. Where is Crash to Insanity? Anyway, I'm just going to 
<laughs> not even worried about that part. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you go through Free Me Boot, you launch, and you transfer your saves over to your flash drive or your hard drive. And then you plug it into your computer, and then you just follow these steps. And I mean, it's pretty as simple as that. And then I want to say that you can take the .psu file and copy that to your memory card. You don't have to worry about converting it back down to those three separate files for it to run. But I don't see any video on YouTube, you know, clarifying how to convert those three separate files and you combine them to make the .psu or the .max file. But there it is. It's as you know, simple as that.